Okay, let me quickly run through exactly what we've got here. So this is a Mongoose BMX. Um, I paid 50 quid for it off of eBay. And it's literally just gonna be our donor bike, really. Um, we're gonna need the handlebars, uh, the sprockets, the front wheel, possibly the seat, uh, possibly the crank, and maybe some other things like the grips but yeah we'll see now the reason i got a bmx was because i found this on ebay and um, i paid 115 pounds for this and it's it's a folding bike um and actually i believe it was an e-bike as well even though it wasn't advertised as an e-bike but yeah it's a folding bike and it takes 20 inch wheel at 20 inch wheels same as a bmx so hopefully these two should work together and then over here uh the white bag that's some tires we'll look at those in a bit but these two boxes are the electric wheel the rear wheel um and obviously the computer and everything like that so i'm hoping all of this is going to work together okay so just quickly i've just unboxed everything these are the tools that i'm going to be using this is obviously to separate the chain i think this is to take the crank off uh these are the headlights and brake indicators the tires are the maxis tires um like knobblies they're really nice so this is a frame which goes over the back wheel for the battery and storage for on top uh, these are like the computer, um, brake levers, throttles, and this is the 20 inch uh, wheel for the rear, and it's heavy, holy crap that is heavy. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go and try and assemble this now and I'll kind of tell you the story behind it and why I wanted to make one of these bikes. So yeah, we got invited to Van Life Festival. And of course, yeah, at a festival, you see all these bikes going around. And uh, yeah, I got to try one out. Uh, it was an awesome bike, absolutely awesome bike. I wish I could have had one of these bikes. Um, it was just the price tag was out of my budget line. So that was a no. Uh, however, it sent me down the rabbit hole of building e-bikes, obviously. Obviously that night I was online and jumped on eBay as I usually do and I found a, a folding bike and I was like it has to be a folding bike the other bike was awesome but not practical like we couldn't carry that around uh, but a folding bike fantastic so that's where that one came from yeah and then obviously from that I went on to Alibaba found the uh, the right motor that I wanted for the right size wheel which was 20 inches and they, then to make it even more practical for us uh, Obviously with the normal e-bike batteries, it goes sort of between the frame, if that makes sense. Um, but with this folding e-bike, it had one of like the old granny baskets on the back. And when I found the motor, I found out that they did another battery which slides into one of those. The e bike isn't going as planned. Um, straight away, there's problems with the two bikes not matching up. Um, where do I even start? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Let me point out the final nail in the coffin for today, which has just brought me to a complete halt. And yeah, I need to really think about what's going to happen with this project because it's not as easy as I thought. Don't get me wrong, I'm not stupid. I, I know I go into these things knowing that there's going to be some sort of alteration or fabrication to get it to work. And that's fine with me. I like problem solving. But there's a lot of problems. And 
building it out in the middle of nowhere, which I would have liked to have done, is not going to work now. Let me show you. Stay there. Stay there. <laughs> so this is the brains of the operation, obviously. And like I said, this was an e-bike frame. I'm pretty sure of it. I haven't done the research, but it's got things which point out for being like an e-bike, which is like one of these, which is one of these. But I don't, I don't know the names of these things. I'm literally just guessing. Uh, but that does go on there. And I need to get this off so I can put this on, but I can't get this off, which is brilliant. Anyway, this is meant to slide in here and this one just doesn't. Which is really shit, because now I've got to try and hide this somewhere where that was a perfect place to put it. Um, I will find a place for it though, it's fine. I don't really want to fabricate that box anyway, so. Right, the next problem. If we look at the size of these, these are obviously on the forks, this is where the wheel goes. This is the front wheel. Looking at this one, look how tiny, look how tiny that is in comparison to that. I can nearly get my whole finger in that one. Barely in that one. So that's going to need some sort of fabrication to it. Um, and it was looking like the back wheel wasn't going to work as well. But the back wheel is obviously where the motor is and that one does fit. So that's fine. It's just the front wheel I've got to worry about. Like, could I fabricate this box? Just moving back on to tidying up the electrics, uh, which I brought this uh, like cable tidy, stretchy woven material. I'm hoping we'll just go through here and yeah, make it all tidy. It's alive. <laughs> Okay, so we've established it's it's pretty fast. Uh, the knobbly tyres seem to be doing pretty good. I think they just need a little bit more air in them. I should have done that before I left. Kind of got excited. Um, but yeah, this isn't the uh, the final bike. Um, there's certain things like this neck, I guess you'd call it. I need to adapt this, which I'm basically going to cut it off and get a new pole to put in there, and I'll, I'll weld it all round. And then the bars will be slightly lower, which would be nice. Um, obviously cable ties are still everywhere. I just kind of threw it together today and this is sort of like a first test run. So yeah, it's uh, it's fun. We're going to go see our friends in the woods, set up some hammocks and uh, yeah, chill out. This is kind of why I wanted the bike. So yeah, this is awesome. <laughs> I better go and find Rachel and Odin.
be rude not to absolutely bomb it up here now, wouldn't it? Let's see what we can get. Send it! <laughs> <laughs> okay, we calm down now. Oh, it's just starting to rain. It's always great when you've got an electric bike and it starts to rain. Straight up there. This is literally why I wanted this bike. Is so, if Rachel's working, I can just grab a bag with a hammock and jump on the bike, ride off into the woods. Even if it's a bit of a trek, it doesn't matter. And uh, yeah, just chill for the day. If I wanted to, go around the woods, a little raz. Ooh, oh, that was tight. <laughs> okay, a little bit used to. <sighs> Good fun. I am pretty impressed with this bike. So I don't want to build it myself. I Frankenstein two bikes together. It works. <laughs> Oh, mate, it's proper raining now. So, you can probably guess that the bike is somewhat done. Um, as you know, projects are never fully finished, are they? The bike works. The bike works fantastic. Uh, it's, it's awesome. I'm so happy with it. Um, to be able to build something and it actually works is great. Obviously it needs tinkering and everything, but it generally works great. Yeah, there's a few things that I want to finish up on the bike, so there will be another video after this. Um, but the handlebars need to be adjusted, uh, the stem needs to be adjusted. There's rattles here and there all over the place, so it'd be really nice to try and sort some of those out. Uh, the brakes, they still need tweaking here and there. Uh, yeah, they're, they're brand new brakes, but I'm still not fully happy with them at the moment. Um, the LED light, the horn, the indicators, I still need to wire those up. Um, I literally, before overcomplicating things, I decided to wire it up as it should be, because the light, the horn, the indicators, they're a separate thing, but they can be joined in with what is here. Uh, so far the battery is performing fantastic. Um, the power that the bike has is brilliant. It can take you up hills, no problem. Um, a little bit of a pedal and assist and you're fine. But all the weight is on the back though, so when you, you do that you kind of have to like lean forward, otherwise whew, off you go. Uh, and then it was a bit like cable management, just trying to run everything, uh, again, having to make holes bigger for more cables to be fed, to be fed through. Um, yeah, that, uh, that took quite a bit of time. Uh, a bit of modifying on the, on the, uh, the rack that's on the back. Um, to take the wheel on and off, the frame was sort of in the way, so I just had to grind that away as well. Um, so then it sort of becomes easier if you need to take the wheel off. You can get a, a socket around it and loosen it off. So the next problem was the handlebars. Now, the stem, which obviously folds because it's a folded bike, uh, the diameter of the pipe is bigger than the, um, the neck on the handlebar. 
sorry I'm like looking at it as I'm talking to you um, at the top it was fine it was the right diameter but as you go down it gets bigger and bigger so I started to make some slits down the metal and sort of just beating that, um, that neck on and it only got so far really um, so what I need to do is chop that off put the right diameter pipe in there and weld it round and then the handlebars will be able to come a lot lower and fold away even nicer. So the bike is near enough done, well, obviously I can take it out in the woods and have a bit of a play now. Um, I'll probably do another bike video once I've finished off all the little finishing touches on the bike. I think it needs a new colour scheme. Uh, so yeah, there'll be another video eventually on it but for the time being this is all good. So thank you very much for everyone who watched the last video, uh, it's re doing really well. Uh, I'm really glad, it was, a, it was a nice video to make actually. Uh, I actually made it twice, I did the first video and then uh, it, it just wasn't flowing right. So I went off by myself and made another video and yeah, it came together nicely. So thank you all for watching and hello to all the new subscribers as well. Um, the next video is actually going to be us making some modifications to Kevlar the motorhome. Uh, new shower and new kitchen basically. Uh, Rachel, my partner, has now moved in with me and we will be hitting the road hopefully in about a month's time. We're just waiting on a few things to be sorted and out of the way and then, um, and then we should have some really cool videos coming up for you. So I'm looking forward to making them all. And yeah, thank you all for watching and join us on the next video. So hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, you can already guess that the bike, this is f***ing hard to do man. <laughs> Oh my god, hold a GoPro and try and ride a bike at the same time.